SPSS looks a lot like an Excel worksheet, but don't make the mistake of just typing in numbers or data into columns as SPSS is set up a little differently. Variables are placed in columns. Uh, these are our columns here and cases of data are placed into different rows and I'll show you exactly what I mean by variables and cases of data. I'm going to enter some data for college students, the grade they're in, the number of classes they're taking. The first thing I want to do is set up a new variable. For that I need to go to variable view. I'm going to double click on VAR up here. You could also click the variable view tab at the very bottom of the sheet. In that first column I'm going to type in my student names. So I'll just type in name for name of student and the type. Click this little box to the right and it will give us a list of options. My name is a string of letters so I'm going to check the string box. The two most common variables you're likely to come across are string, which are lists of numbers or letters that you wanted to be treated as numbers. For example, if you had a zip code, you'd want to treat that as letters. And you're also likely to be using numeric. These others, uh, date and dollar, they're self-explanatory. If you want more of an explanation on the variable types, then click the link showing on screen and that will take you to an article on our site which explains these in a little more detail. So my name variable is a string. Number of characters, well some names can be pretty long so I'm going to go up to say 15 characters and click OK. So let's change my width to 15. Decimals, I'm working with names right now so I'm not going to worry about this. Label, that is for your use. I've given the variable the name name and if I look back in six months I may not remember what name is. So I'm going to type in student name here and that's just a note for me to remember. This next column values is only valid if you have numeric variables. I'll be entering a numeric variable in just a moment and I'll show you what to do in this column. The next column I'm interested in is this measure. We have a nominal variable which is a name and that would be correct but if you had something else like an ordinal variable you can select that here. I'm going to change it back to a nominal variable. So I've set up my first variable. I'm going to go back to the data view. Click on the data view tab at the bottom of the sheet. And now I've defined my first column, the name column, so I can enter my student names. In the next column I want to define their date of birth so I need to return to the variable view. Double click and I'm just going to call this DOB. Over in the label I'm going to make a note to myself that this is a date of birth. My string date of birth it is numeric but it's a specific kind of numeric. I want to put it as a date and I'm going to select month, day, year. Click OK. This time I'm going to change my alignment to left on that. My measure, my date of birth would be a scale variable and return back to data view and now I can enter the dates of births for my students as I've defined the variable. In the next column I want to say which year my students are in. So I'm going to define a variable there. So this is year. I'm going to make a note to myself that this is the student's year. Now what I'm going to do here instead of writing freshman or senior or junior I'm going to assign numbers to the years. So for example freshman would be number one, sophomore would be two, and so on. How I do that is with the values box I was talking about earlier. I'm going to click on this and it will open a dialog box. One is for freshman. Add. Two is for sophomore. Add. Then we have junior and senior. I've got decimal places here that I do not want so I'm going to click OK. Go back here to the decimals column and take that down. 
to zero. The measure is scale. These are numbers. It is a scale variable. I'm going to go back to my data view. Now I've defined the variable. I can enter what year my students are in. And it fills in the names for me.